In this video, we are going to discuss solution for a non-homogeneous state equation of a unforced system. In the earlier class, we have discussed about same solution for a non-homogeneous state equation of a forced system. Now, the difference between forced system and unforced system will differ in state equation. Now, you can see the process. The state equation of a unforced system will be a into x of t. So, this will be state equation for unforced system. If it is a forced system, you are having another term a into x of t plus b into u of t. For an unforced system, we are not having the second term b into u of t. So, here x dot of t that means d by dt of x of t is equal to a into x of t will be the state equation for unforced system. So, here for this non-homogeneous state equation of related to unforced system, we need to find the solution. Solution means we need to find the value for x of t. So, here both sides I am going to consider Laplace transform. So, take Laplace transform on both sides. Then, so if you consider Laplace transform of d by dt of x of t, then this will be s into x of s minus x of 0. This is the Laplace transform of d by dt of x of t. So, this x dot of t is nothing but d by dt of x of t. So, this side a into x of s. Now, you are having two x of s terms. So, I am sending this a into x of s this side and I am sending this x of 0 to this side. And here s into x of s minus a into x of s is equivalent to x of 0. Now, I am taking common of this x of s term and you are going to get si minus a. As this is matrix, I am also making this s as matrix with the identity matrix. So, si minus a is equivalent to x of 0. So, now x of s is equivalent to si minus a inverse into x of 0. Now, if you want x of t, what we can do? So, we need to take inverse Laplace transform. Take inverse Laplace transform on both sides. So, if you take inverse Laplace transform on both sides, what you are going to get? So, inverse Laplace transform of x of s is equal to inverse Laplace transform of si minus a whole inverse into x of 0. So, now this is equal to x of t. So, this is phi of t. So, into x of 0. We already have an idea about the phi of t where phi of t is nothing but state transition matrix. So, this is equal to inverse Laplace transform of si of si minus a whole inverse. So, inverse Laplace transform of si minus a whole inverse I am writing like phi of t. So, this is nothing but phi of t is nothing but state transition matrix. So, this is the solution of non-homogeneous state equation if it is a unforced system. If it is a unforced system, we are having only one term in the state model or state equation. So, by taking Laplace transform both sides, we are going to get like this and just by sending this term to this side and having x of s, we will get like this and finally, what we require is the solution for x of t. So, that is why to get x of t from x of s, I am going to take inverse Laplace transform. By taking inverse Laplace transform, you are supposed to get a form equivalent to state transition matrix. I am replacing the term with the state transition matrix and you are going to get x of t is equivalent to phi of t into x of 0. This is the solution for non-homogeneous state equation if the system is unforced system. So, like this way you need to derive the solution for non-homogeneous state equation.